In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an endospore stain. Hello! First, we need to put on our eye protection. Here's our endospore staining procedure. The first step is to apply the primary stain, malachite green. This is done over a water bath for three to five minutes. The heat from the water bath will drive that green stain into the endospores. Next, we'll rinse the slide with water, and the final step is to apply the counter stain, safranin. This pink stain is a contrasting color to the green and will impart color to the vegetative bacterial cells. We begin by applying the primary stain in a fume hood. Here's my prepared endospore slide. My unknown is in the center circle and my two controls are in the outer circles. I place my slide over the water bath and now I'm ready to apply the primary stain malachite green. I drip the malachite green directly onto my slide, making sure that each of those circles are completely covered with stain. Allow the stained slide to heat over the water bath for three to five minutes. It's important not to let that stain dry out, so if it looks like it's beginning to dry out, you can apply more malachite green. After three to five minutes, I retrieve my slide, allowing any excess stain to drip off into the water bath. I then place the slide on a paper towel and take it back to my station to finish the staining procedure. The next step is to rinse the malachite green off the slide. After rinsing, I'm now ready to apply my counter stain, Safranin. The malachite green was used to stain the endospores. The counter stain, Safranin, is used to stain the bacterial cells a contrasting color. Once I've applied the Safranin, to cover all three circles, all three bacterial smears, I wait one minute. Now it's time to rinse the safranin off of my slide. After rinsing, I'm going to gently blot that slide dry. Don't rub the slide or you can wipe off the bacterial smears. Just gently blot. And here's my finished slide. Here's another example of an endospore stained slide. I have my unknown smear in the center. To the left is my positive control, my known endospore producer. In this sample, I used Bacillus subtilis. Here it is under the scope, under oil immersion, magnified 1,000 times. The little green ovals are the endospores, and the pink rods are the vegetative cells. The bacterial smear on the right is my non-endospore producer, which would be my negative control. In this case, I use Staphylococcus. Here's what my negative control looks like under the scope. This is Staphylococcus epidermidis. It does not produce endospores, so I see only pink vegetative cells. More seriously nerdy, amazing free stuff at scienceprofonline.com. Go there.